Let's do our hand woven first. Okay. Remember this, the top part's going to be our opening. If they don't match up perfectly, that's okay. Just make them match. And we're going to sew... What is it? About half inch, quarter inch seam. About a half inch. bulky so I'm just doing my best to keep the layers together and straight stitches a little bit longer machine's not great with bulky fabric so it keeps slipping okay so we've got our um our pocket there for our bag and for the next part we're going to take our two pieces of lining and what we just did for our outer bag we're going to do the same Except, remember, at the bottom, we've got these two markers because we want to leave that gap. So I'm going to start at the top end. When I've got to this marker here and I've back stitched so that's going to hold and then I'm ready to go on to the next marker just here And then I'm ready to keep sewing. Right up the other side.
show you my machine handles. Thinner fabric a bit better than the thicker one. All right, so now we're just left with the handles. And those two edges that we folded together, so this is what we're looking like on the inside. Remember we folded those together. We're going to sew down that edge to hold those pieces together. Once again, my machine. Okay. I want to sew fairly close to the edge. do exactly the same with the other bag handle. Now all those pieces we sewed together just now, we're going to just give them a good press. So the stitches are set in, helps to make it stronger in the end. Okay, helps your um, bag handles to straighten out because they go all wonky maybe this way would be better other bag handle Now they're nice and straight. Tiny bag pieces. Okay, now here's a slightly tricky bit, but I'm sure you'll you'll be able to get it. You'll be fine. So I can put my finger right into the corner there and I want to really look at the seams. You can see the seams quite clearly here. Not so much here because of my dodgy sewing job. I'm not the best sewer in town. And we want to pinch them so that on the inside this seam and this seam will meet. So if I've got my finger in there right and I pinch it like this, those seams are going to meet on the inside. And then when I've pinched it so that those seams are meeting, I want to measure two inches in. So from the top of the seam here at the corner, I want to measure two inches in, so to here. And I want to mark that with a pin so I can have a look right so if I've pinched that all the way along I should once I mark it I should end up with a little triangle okay pinch it flatten it you'll end up with this little triangle pin it on the other side as well where you've pinched it Okay, do you get me now? It's kind of hard to explain, but if you look at it like that, you can see what I'm talking about, hopefully. If it's easier for you, grab a ruler, lay this down flat, and draw a line across with some dressmaker's chalk or something like that. Alright, and I'm going to do that to the other corner of my bag as well my fingers in, pinch them together, 
My seams are really bad on this side, so it's really hard to see. Okay. Once I've pinched it, I can measure two inches down and place a pin. Okay, make sure my seams are meeting on the inside. They are, I can feel them. And I'm going to have a bit of excess fabric to trim at the end here. Once again, pin across so you've got a triangle. Okay, so that's my triangle for that side. I'm going to trim off this excess fabric afterwards. Now that we've done that to our bag, we're going to do exactly the same to our lining. Now, if you find this step difficult, or if I'm not explaining it well enough, you can totally skip it and just have the bottom edge of your bag square if you want to. This um, creates a little bottom for the bag to sit upright. Okay, so here's my lining fabric. I've got my finger inside and I want my seams to meet on the inside. And then I'm going to measure two inches in, two inches from the edge of the seam, not from these bits sticking up here. And pop a pin there so I can see where two inches is. Yep. Make sure my seams are meeting on the inside. There we go. And mark the rest with pins as well. As I said, you can mark this with a ruler so that when you come to sew it, you'll have a straight line to guide you and do the other side as well. Separate the seams first. This is actually really difficult to explain. <laughs> I hope you can manage okay. Pinch it so that we've got the triangle. Measure two inches. And mark them across. All right, now it's back to the machine to sew those parts that we've just done.